Hello and welcome. Speaking of error handling in the previous video, in this video I will show you a practical example of how you can uh, find solution for the errors you might face. It is not going to be only on the view application, in all the application you can you use. So it is going to be an interesting topic, so let's get started. So here is uh, an example of basic component in Vue.js. If you come to the documentation, this is the starting. Imagine you take their code. This is the example that you have. You copy it and you want to use it. This is another way of using the component. They have inline component. You don't have to create another file. So if I come to my application, we go to the source, app.js. What I can do is I can register my component here. So normally you paste the code here and you save it. You come to the documentation and here is how you can use it. Just copy the code and the way we use it, I will go to the view and opening the home that view component so under the hello world i will paste my component and now i will save it it is going to work just fine right because we know if you register your component using the view dot component it is going to register as global component and everywhere you can use it so if i come to my application here now i get a error uh, some error here so let me just refresh the page if i refresh yeah this is the warning i get this is a warning okay but under the these alerts that we have if i come to my application to the home you know we have the hello world and under the hello world we have the button here it should appear here but it does not appear because we are in the home and it does not appear here it is going to give us an error so just write just uh, pick the error you have here i will right click just google it when you google your error you will see different people ask mostly i go to stack overflow for finding the solution and github is also a very nice place because people with when the people see the issue they directly come and report the issue in the view community or any other community so if i come to here come here this is what they have asked in the view too they have faced the same problem that we have faced so if i scroll down yeah the author of the views they have written something and based on the reaction here you can understand either this is correct or not or is this working or not if i scroll down some of these reaction have like negative reaction it means it is not going to work for this one okay it is not a reaction actually so if i scroll down some of them have negative reaction means those things are not working but some of them are working just fine so there are different solutions here I have myself I have tried many of them and the thing is if I come here I will just show you one of the example that people say you can use this this is one of the example if I come here they said 33 people said this is going to work just fine and if you are going to use browser file here is the example and what they did to solve that problem if I read the error once let's come here you are using the runtime only uh, so build of viewer the template compiler are not available either pre-compile or the template into render function this error is because when you create any view application in your uh, using the view CLI it is on it is going to create all the component only if they have a view extension so that's why when we create our component like this it is not this time it is not it cannot understand what we have done or what component we have created that's why it is not going to distinguish our new component so that's why they say that uh, because you are using the runtime only it is not going to distinguish the component you have created so to solve this issue the author of the view they have commented something but this is not much clear if you can understand this okay just fine if not just escape scroll down you will find another solution this guy is saying simple way to change is change this one to this one but in the documentation of Vue.js they said that you should not use this one I did somewhere else so this is working just fine if you do it so to fix it properly I will scroll down 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 here is another example this is the nice one so they say just create a view.config and write this code inside that one so this is if you go to the view CLI they recommend it also so if I come to my application 
here in the root directory I will create a view.config.js of course for you for any other error it is not going to be the same thing you have to try multiple times until you get to where you you want to be so I will save it and again if I come here you refresh it it is not going to work so you have to try many things like how it is going to work or not for me the the issue is that whenever you run the uh, the comment and it is going to compile it is going to take the old configuration file so you can press ctrl C here and press yes to cancel or terminate the current job and then run the server again if you run the server again it is going to take the new configuration file so this time I will just wait for this one to compile all the file if it shows any error I can again search the error on the internet and find the solution so hopefully it does not give us any error yeah successfully compile this time if I refresh my application it is working just fine and here is our button you click on this one it is working just fine this is just one of the example you know you have understood whenever you create anything you have to understand how it is going to work how it is not going to work this is how you can solve any issue if you see something just google it and find the solution and as I said mostly I come to stack overflow for example this one I just give you one of this solution like I have seen this one and people got a lot of rating for this one if I scroll down here they say that just replace it like this the, the, the like other example I show you here but in the comment if you read from the documentation they said do not use this one or do not import Vue.js directly because it is not going to work with some third-party libraries like that so you can read it here it is not going to be recommended by the Vue.js user otherwise they would do it themselves in the first place that's why it is not the recommended way so this is the recommended way of doing it just try the configuration here that's all for this video and I hope it has been informative next time you see any problem just google it and learn how to how to solve it by yourself so that you can expertise solving the problem it happens for me to be honest most of the errors I spend hours and hours of solving them but sometimes it is not going to be solved so I spent days and weeks on solving the errors so that's how you become like expert in, in anything I read a quote uh, I don't know how it was written but it was saying like this that you become great by solving unqualified um, problem like if you see any problem you are unqualified for just try to solve it once you solve it you will, you will become great in the field you are so that's it for this video and Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.